Giant Grodel moment. Hello there, I am Giant Grodel, and welcome to my new walkthrough guide. Walkthrough guide number 11. It's a Pokemon game, can you guess already what it is? Oh, it could either be Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Pearl. Uh, I'll just say right out right now that it's Pokemon Diamond. This is my Pokemon Diamond Redux. Okay, so there are several reasons, or uh, maybe just a few, a few reasons why I want to do a Redux on this game. One, um, I want to, you know, provide, I just want to play through this game and have better quality. And I hope you guys like the new layout. I'm showing both the top and the bottom screens right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and two, after, right after I beat Iron Islands in my original walkthrough guide for this, uh, game, which this, the Pokemon Diamond was my second walkthrough guide ever on my channel, um, it got, um, I had to, I recorded a lot all the way up to, like, the route before Sunny Shore City, and after catching Dialga and the three, like, Pokemon, uh, but after that, like, I had to format my mem memory stick because I was really, originally did this walkthrough with a cam with a camcorder, so camcorder vision, camcorder style, which is pretty cool, I guess, at the time. Um, and I just had to format my 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 memory stick, and I lost all those videos. So I want to just go back and get to show the thing like Pokemon and Pokemon Diamond. I already did in Pokemon Platinum because I already did a walkthrough guide on Pokemon Platinum. So th there's a couple reasons why I'm going back to doing Pokemon Diamond as a Redux. I hope you guys enjoy. This is one of my favorite Pokemon uh, games actually because I love 4th generation so it was awesome. And there we go, Pokemon Diamond version. Press start. We'll, we'll do. We'll press start pretty well. Ah, uh, that didn't make quite sense. That didn't make sense, really. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. And by the way, I'm filming this on the uh, DS emulator, the Zoomy, or however you, however you pronounce it. I'm using OBS to record um, the two screens and stuff, yeah. Okay, so um, my name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Oh, the text is so slow, we have to fix that as soon as we can. <laughs> Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? It is by far not my first adventure. If you need any advice, I'm still capable of giving it. Uh, no info needed. He can tell you about controls and adve the adventure info, but no info needed for me. This is my this is my first rodeo, Rowan. <laughs> this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle on the middle of the Pokeball on the middle of the Pokeball. Great grandmother man, if you please, if you please. Now I don't to do my my stylus is basically my mouse cursor, so I'm gonna click on the middle of the Pokeball. You may have heard a little click there of me boom through my microphone because my mouse is on the same uh, keyboard uh, holder or uh, the thing that slides out for like a desktop keyboard, that kind of thing, whatever it is called, a keyboard. Supporter, I don't even know, but yeah, I just a bunch of came out of it. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. As time we play, as time at times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, he's gonna ask you for boy or girl, pretty generic question in Pokemon games like this that follow this RPG format, turn-based, uh, turn-based RPGs, um, of Pokemon. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Uh, here's Dawn, and here's Lucas. Now if you play as a girl, you can nickname your character whatever you want, whatever your name is, if you're a girl, and if you can do the same for a boy, but like, if you're a boy. Um, if you play as Dawn, as you if you play as a girl, you're, uh, you, uh, um, your one of your rivals, I guess you could say, friends in the game will be Lucas. And if you play as a boy, like I'm going to, uh, one of your friends slash rivals is gonna be Dawn. It's gonna be this girl named Dawn from like the anime. In that case, if you're like playing from the boy's view, you're playing as a boy. Yeah, I'm a boy though. All right, so you're a boy. Yes, I'm a boy. Tell me, what is your name? I'm just gonna go with Steven. I don't know. I'm using a game controller to play this. This is really fun. <laughs> That's pretty cool because I'm playing on the DS uh, emulator as I said before. Steven. Yep, there we go. Your name is Steven? Yes. Okay, okay, so you're Steven. A fine name that is. Thank you, Rowan. Professor Rowan, I should say. Now, that, th now this boy here, I believe he is your friend. 
Um, what might his name be? Okay, so, um, his name is going to not be Barry, not going to be Damien, not going to be Tyson, not going to be Marcus. It's actually going to be Sam. Sam the real TBOC. If you remember in my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough guide, I named my rival uh, uh, after Sam the real TBOC, just naming him Sam. Um, and I'm just going to name him Sam in this game too. Just Sam. S-A-M. There we go. Sam, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes, it is. Don't you forget it. All right, Stephen. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Our, on your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. And we shrink down to sprite size. <laughs> of this game, at least. Okay, um... Okay, I'll read this. Despite the Explorations team's best efforts, however, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even uh, fleetingly... Fleet... Ingly to the crestfallen team, so I guess they're pretty upset about that. This concludes our special report search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Judo Live TV, Judo Live TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. I wish programs said that uh, nowadays, like saying, "Hey, n see you next week, same time, same channel." When it was like a weekly series, when they, a new episode came out every every um, you know, week or so. Okay, so I gotta get used to my controls. Uh, on the GameCube controller, Y is actually the Y on the DS, X is actually the Y X on the DS, A and B is of course A and B on the DS. So I kind of put it like that, just so I could try to remember it, but it feels weird because the buttons are not in the same exact, like, kind of, um, diamond sideways square shape of, um, on the DS controls. So, first of all, I want to go to options. Tech speed fast, it was on mid. Okay, get Balestine on. Battle scene on, battle, scene, battle style shift. Um, yeah, shift, uh, shift, yeah. Um, sound, stereo, I guess. Uh, button mode, I like L equals A for some reason. Frame, what should our frame be? It should be a good one. I think I can point out the one I used in my original Pokemon Diamond walkthrough guide. I think it was this one. It was either this one right here or s something close to that blue. Oh, okay, I think it was that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with um, frame number, where is it? Frame number 19. It looks pretty cool. It's not really diamond colored, but it still kind of looks cool to me. When you're done, you can confirm all your save ch changes in your options menu that you made, and you can continue on. Here's your save function. You press it, and then you can save the game and stuff. Uh, your trainer card. Um, if I can, okay, so um, your trainer card, ID number, you don't have to worry about that. I don't think it has to do anything in the, actually in this game. I could be wrong though. Um, maybe like later in the after game, but that's far ways away from right now. Okay, name Steven, of course. You start out with 3,000 Poké Dollars. Now in Pokemon games, I th I count like every Poké Dollar being a penny in real money in like the United States. So like if I have 3,000 Poké Dollars like I do here, I, it basically means the guy has $30 in his pocket. Because that would make more sense than having $3,000 in your pocket, you know? Who cares that much money at once? Unless you're crazy rich. And like, you know how Pokeballs are like 200 Poke Dollars? So that's like $2. Uh, Antidotes are 100 Poke Dollars, so that's a dollar. It makes more sense if like, if you think about if um, every Poke Dollar is a penny in real US money or wherever you live. So I thought that made some more sense. Uh, score is zero. I don't know what that is exactly. Your playtime is two, my playtime is two minutes. My adventure started on October 8th, 2016. By the time this is uploaded, it'll probably be, uh, I'm thinking this will probably be like October. November or December, honestly, when this final gets uploaded to YouTube. Because I pre record so much ahead of time. Because I always like having a video out every day or try to have a video out every day. You know, it's just my kind of style, I guess. My uploading style. My upload plan. Uh, gym leaders. We, um, the first one's Rourke. He's in the hard hat. Next one's Gardenia. Uh, okay, we shouldn't spoil these, actually. But, um, you can just look at the pictures. But, look, our badge case is empty right now. So, we'll have to fix that. But it'll take a while to get all those badges, you know. Anyway, we have a bed, we have a Wii. Because at the time this game came out in like 2006, I believe. 
Wait, no, this came out, yeah, this game, Domino Pro came out in 2007, and then, um, late 2007, I believe, and then, um, Platinum, Platinum came out early 2009. So here's your PC. It's, you won't, you won't have a, you won't have a potion in it like other games, so, that's a drag. We can go downstairs. This meant this thing will say I press X to open the menu, which we already know. Okay, here's her mom. Okay, Steven, Sam came calling for you a little bit earlier. I don't know what he wanted, but he said it was an emergency. Okay, we should do. We should just um find him then, I guess. Oh, you. Oh yes, yeah, Steven. Don't go into tall grass. What Pokemon might attack you? It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So way to rub. Way to that. That's like salt in the wound, Mom. Thanks. You can talk to this guy. I'm gonna talk to him. He doesn't. Okay. So this technology is it just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with po people around the world wirelessly. Oh, that cool. Cr There's a lot of irony in that statement, and it's because um. Nintendo doesn't support Wi-Fi for um, DS games anymore that has that were at one point Wi-Fi compatible By the time I was doing my original walkthrough guide for this game It was still uh, You were still able to like Wi-Fi battle with everyone and trade and all that good stuff, but now they closed it <laughs> Irony, okay thud. That's a big thud because it's all in big text and all that what was that all about? What was that about? Oh, hey, Steven. Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come too, and better be quick about it. Okay, Steven, I'm finding you one million dollars if you're late. Oh, geez, forgot something. Why did you forget, Sam? Did you forget to pack your, um, Wii U to bring over to my house? Uh, I'm recording this again on October 8th, and Sam, the real TBC in real life, hasn't forgotten to bring his, um, Wii U over to my house because he's been doing a Wind Waker LP right now. By the time this is uploaded, he may have been halfway through the game or something like that. But you know, I'm just predicting the future or saying what I think is going to happen in the future. Oh, hi, Steven. Are you looking for Sam? He gone. He was gone for a second, but then he came running back in home. Back home. You just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder what he takes. What he takes after. I think that's what she said. Okay. Um, I'd better take my bag and journal too. He's all shocked again. Oh, hey, Steven. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. Uh, it'll, it's a $10 million fine if you're late. Okay, if you didn't, th if you knew I couldn't afford the 100, 1 million poker dollar limit, then how do you think, and why do you think, um, I could afford the 10 million poker dollar limit? I could have made that joke in my original walk the guide of this game. So many comparisons. I'm sorry. I'm gonna probably minimize those now because it's kind of annoying, honestly. Uh, if you may you may find it annoying if I compare this walk the guide and my original walk the guide of this game. But yeah, hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, searching for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show gives got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a Pokemon like that. You can you can walk with Cody if you go over to the tall grass. They'll say like, oh, we don't have any Pokemon. Don't go on tall grass. Or it, your mom's I think it's your mom's words will echo saying, hey, don't go on tall grass because you don't have any Pokemon. We're at the very lakefront, but then we're gonna go into the lake. All right, to the lake. Let's find the Red Gyarados. I think. The or a red Gyarados. I can't remember. What's going on? Oh, look, it's Rowan and who is that exactly? Could be Dawn. Professor, isn't anything out of the or Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I say. I, s I, I may have been mistaken. Sometimes a p something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we ha it's enough that we have seen the lake. I misread that probably. Dawn, we leave in. Yeah, so that is Dawn. Um, Professor, Ro Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I can say. There's are many ki rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. 
Okay. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about those two? Steven, let's check this check let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into tall into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. And he's gonna drag me into the tall grass. Oh no, this could be this could be bad. Ooh, a briefcase, nice. It's a briefcase. There always people forgot it here. What are the what are we supposed to do with it? Probably return it. Uh, we can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say professor. Oh great. What P -p Pokemon? What's going on? Okay. Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using these. Uh, which one do you want then? You're only saying that so you can pick the one that's super effective against mine to get the type advantage, but whatever. Okay, so you have Protective Wig the Grass type Pokemon. I love this Pokemon, obviously. It uh, evolves into Grodel. Grodel's my favorite Pokemon of all time. Good choice. Really good in this game. He ends up being a ground and grass type in this game. His only weakness really is um, flying and ice, but he's four times weak to ice. And kind of fire too. It's neutral effective, I guess. But yeah, that's that. Um, I used him in my original walkthrough guide, so I'm not going to use him this time around. Okay, um, you got Chimchar. Um, a really good fire type Pokemon. Um, fun fact in Pokemon Diamond Pearl, if you do not choose Chimchar, the only other Pokemon that's a fire type in the main in the main game well excluding the after game but only in the main game um before bef even before well in the main game there's only two fire types basically chimchar and ponita and their final evolutions are infernape which infernape is a fire fighting type pokemon and rapidash is just a pure fire type so those are only two fire type pokemon in diamond and pearl they changed that in platinum thank goodness because uh yeah, if you didn't choose Chimchar, or you'd have to use a Ponyta if you wanted a fire type. So, um, I'm gonna come back to this one. Okay. We can use Piplup. It's a water steel type when it's, um, fully evolved into Napoleon. It's really good, very defensive. You can win Defog as an HM move, which is kind of cool, I guess, but not really actually because Defog's not a really good offensive move and you shouldn't teach it to your starter Pokemon. You have HM slaves for that. Yeah, I use Piplup in my Pokemon Plant and Walkthrough Guide. Um, really good Pokemon, makes a great water type. But this time around, I'm gonna go with the one Pokemon I didn't choose as a starter at all yet. Chimchar, let's go Chimchar. I choose you. So this will be fun, I get to use a Chimchar now. It'll be my fire type for my team. Okay, I started level 2, let's go Chimchar. Yeah, okay, so I got male Chimchar, that's cool. Okay, um... It's just best to go with your offensive moves. Uh, I think Chimchar has Scratch, as you see here. Uh, Turtwig has Tackle, and to pip up as Pound. So keep that in mind. Um, it's only a level two Styly, and it'll only be it'll be a level two Styly um, no matter what. So it's really nothing to stress over because it's see it's it only did one hit point against my Chimchar, so you'll be fine. Um, I think if it takes, if the battle takes too long, I think the Starlia might flee, but I've never actually ever had it take super duper long, so I don't know if that's true or not, if it'll flee after a certain amount of turns. But yeah, it's no, it's no sweat, and it's really easy to just take care of, you know? Uh, why? Your Chimchar was totally, your to Chimchar totally rocked, but my Pipple was t way tougher than yours. They were only other people's Pokemon, though. But we had to use them. They won't mind, will they? I don't know, Cody. Or, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about Cody as my old, old rifle name in Pokemon Diamond, and my old, old walkthrough guide, my original walkthrough guide. It's Sam. Jeez. And I just finished recording um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team today, the after game, I should say, or the finale. So yeah, oh, there's the briefcase. There's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I had lost it. You almost lost it, Dawn. But that's okay. We found it. Huh? Oh no. Did you did you use the, the Pokemon in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What is the professor going to say? This is going not this is so not good. I'll take the briefcase for now. Okay. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Steven. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. 
If we want, if we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Well, I could handle like another two or three Pokemon before we'd have like mid health. But okay, Co okay, Sam. Sorry, there we go with Cody again. So yeah, um, you go ahead. I know we have to turn. You have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Okay, Cody. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, Cody. I, I, I'm using the D-pad on my game controller, and it kind of messed me up there, because the D-pad's so small, my thumb's so huge. <laughs> hey, it's those people. Is that it's that old guy staring? Is that old guy staring at us? Calling him old. That's not very nice. Hmm. I heard that Dawn that used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. And he just walks off. Um, yes, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Sam, what was that all craziness about? And I'll, I'll split the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon, mis uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Dang it, Pokemon Diamond uh, Redux Walkthrough Guide. The next part will take on. Hopefully, um, bef get the, the next area or... See if we can keep these Pokemon. So this has been Janko again. I hope that thing you can get in goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux walkthrough guide. I mean, if it's angry, he could just yell at us or whatever. Yeah, 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 Sam, that's cool. <laughs> if you want to take that. And don't we want their Pokemon back? And don't, and then they want the Pokemon back? Stephen, we should go home too.